So this is going to be Princess Catherine's relationship with Prince William. It looks like it's fine, but is it? So I hope you like the video. If you do, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. You know, it, I'm biased. I love Catherine. I love Wills. I think they're going to be great. And it looks to us like everything's fine. But isn't that the job of the spin for the firm to make it seem like everything's fine? So let's look at the cards and see if everything's fine. The life of uh, Catherine and William kind of reminds me of a couple during the holidays when they're going to all the families uh, for, for the holidays and maybe you've had a big fight with, with uh, your spouse, uh, but let's put on a happy face. And, uh, and so that's what their life seems to be every single day. Whatever is going on, no, let, let's put on a happy face and go out there so that all the relatives think that everything's wonderful. But what's really going on behind the scenes? And let's see if the cards can give us a little insight. Let's see if we believe what the cards say. So here we go. Okay, so this is the giant Rider weight tarot deck, and I just thought it'd be fun to use this deck. But um, it comes to that, you know, it's a slightly, not much more, but just a slightly more substantial box than some of the, the cards come in. And uh, it's got the typical, I mean, everything that everything else would have, but just huge, you know, just bigger. Uh, the uh, It's a standard uh, little guidebook. So, you know, just not anything super special. And if you're familiar with the uh, Rider weight cards, um, you'll know... How big are these? Does it actually say right here? I'm sure it does. Um, okay, here they are. Four inches by six and three quarter inches. Four inches by six and three quarter inches. That's what you got here. But uh, they're the cards that you're used to uh, on any uh, standard uh, Rider weight uh, deck. They're just, in fact, giant. So there you go. I've also got the tiny little ones that you can put in your pocket. So, Rider weight cards, fun to use. This should be pretty clear, don't you think? So this is going to be a four card uh, situation here. We'll see how this goes. Maybe not. Maybe we'll just do a regular, regular draw. I don't know. We'll see. But um, that's those cards for your perusal. So Catherine and Will's relationship. How is that really going? This is a mess. That's it's a justice card, but I just couldn't shuffle the cards. So I think I'm just going to do them like this. These are so huge, and I don't use them enough. And this is a big question, so why not use big cards? So Catherine and Will's relationship, the real thing, the real thing. How is that going? What can the cards tell us? What kind of insight will we have into how that family is working on the inside? I mean, there's lots going on. Besides what we know in the in the public, you know, there's been talk about will they move to Windsor, and um, you know, Royal Lodge at Windsor has been a huge, um, important house throughout the monarchy for many, 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 or at least for several generations. Doesn't mean that they would move into Royal Lodge. I believe there are other properties there that they could that they could take. You know, when you say Windsor, I don't think we mean Windsor Castle. I think we mean a property in Windsor. Windsor. But um, so let's see. Catherine and Will's relationship. What can you cards tell us about that? Catherine and Will's actual real relationship. Six cards for the beginning. These are so huge. One, two, three, four, five, and six. But you know, it's a big uh, question. It certainly is. Um, we couldn't be more interested, and it couldn't be more important. So six cards, signifier, Catherine and Will's relationship. What's the signifier for that? Queen of Swords, 
Okay, this is interesting. Right away, I want to say it's Catherine with her truth, justice, rules, and law, but I don't know. It's just the Queen of Swords. Swords are art, what I just said, and uh, the Queen is uh, very much, um, you know, the master of that in this situation. So the Queen of Swords is a signifier for, for Catherine and Will's uh, real relationship right now. Truth, justice, rules, law, those seem like all things that could be right on the edge of importance for them. The challenge to that for their relationship is the chariot. And uh, yeah, it is. I mean, things are beginning to happen uh, quickly. I mean, there will be a transition in the next few years, definitely, for Charles, but that moves up all the responsibility of Will and uh, Catherine, Will, uh, William and Catherine. I mean, they move into the, all the responsibilities that Charles had as the uh, Duke of Cornwall. And um, so, yeah. That's the challenge to getting this right for Wills and Catherine right now. But how is their relationship? We want to peek in. We want to know. Uh, the base of this reading, then, is all these issues. Look at this. Uh, wands are plans, issues, things coming at a rapid pace. These all bear fruit. Uh, these are all uh, blossoming. And um, the castle is far off in the distance. Look at that. And these are falling on this side of this river of compassion, this river of emotion. And they're in a, a sky, of a blue sky. Of uh, You know, we'd like to see a blue sky ahead of us. So this is what is the base of this reading for them. The past of this reading for their relationship, well, value. This is a beautiful card uh, to get for this question because it just shows me that they hold a huge amount of value in each other, personally. Obviously, William is the important guy in this scenario, but Catherine, right there by his side to help him shoulder those burdens, someone to talk to at night, yeah, they understand their value. So, so far, that looks pretty good. The sky of this reading for Catherine and Wills, how's their relationship? Well, this is interesting because the seven... Of swords and again truth uh, justice rules law but the seven of swords talks to us of of you know a thievery of, of feeling like something's been taken away from you and i wonder if they don't have that feeling a little bit you know whatever freedom they had which wasn't that much to begin with is just being more is being leached away okay more of these uh rules and law or something that they have to carry they're being left with less and less um to uh to guide their personal life and uh, and their children coming up i mean they're you know when those kids get into their teenage years and then into their 20s there's going to be a lot on their plate so in the sky is feeling like some something's been taken away from you a little bit so let's see how we can reorder these cards so that they look like they're telling the right story. I think this is good. Right here, we'll stick this right back underneath. Now, the likely outcome of this whole thing for them, all right, is in this card right here, well, the magician. You know, you have to be the magician in a relationship. They've got all the tools on the table that they need, okay? They've got the pentacles, the, the cups, the wands, the swords. They've got the value, they've got the emotion, they've got a plan, and they've got the, the, the rules, okay? So it's all right here for them to use. And uh, this is them as a couple. This is them as a couple. So this is a very um, uh, looking good, you know. This is like they understand uh, the value, at least Catherine does, of what's going on here. Things are moving fast. There's a lot of issues coming up. They understand the value of the two of them. So they're losing some things right now, but they've got all the tools on the table that they need to make this work. So the last four cards of Catherine and William, um, what's going on that we don't know? Their relationship today. The signifier card or the self of that question, uh, it's the end, it's the end, it's the end of an era. I mean, they see it, it's here. They have to prepare for it now. They can put off in their mind what inevitable is, is starting to happen. But in reality, they have to know that they have to prepare for this definite, definite end. That's not that far off, obviously. The um, let's put the chariot up a little bit here so we can see that the uh, environment that that's in then this end coming up it's right here happy family 
So it doesn't look that way to us so much on the outside, especially if we consider the uh, hairy angle of the whole thing. But in general, yeah, they've got a lot of wonderful uh, trophies of good, uh, solid family to build on, okay? And I think that's what's going to be the the focus, okay? The um, hopes and the fears for all of this, for the two of them and this relationship today Look at that. It's also the greedy merchant. That's beautiful because this is the fella who's got a lot of emotional trophies that he's very proud to display up above him. Okay, he comes at this issue with a lot of strength, with a lot in his favor. He's very comfortably sitting here and saying, look, I know how to make the deal. I've done it many times before. I have behind me all the trophies that I need to show you uh, that this can be done. Love that. The likely outcome of this whole thing for Catherine and Will's um, their relationship today. And what, this card right here is the Wheel of Fortune. Not a bad card to get. You know, it is up in the air. With nothing is written in stone. So it is, uh, um, you know, a spin of the wheel. But I always like to say that uh, this card is usually spinning in a positive direction. It's not to say there will be some difficulties eventually, but there will be time for all of that to write itself. And um, so if this is an end, this is a beginning, and it's a beginning with hope. Okay, so I do like that reading for Catherine and William. Uh, how will they, what's their relationship today? They start out with the Queen of Swords, uh, challenged by things moving quickly, underscored by all these actions that are happening. They've got a great big offer of value in the, each of them, recognizing for each other. They're feeling like some things are being stolen from them, but it was inevitable, and they know that. They've got all the tools of this magician on the table that they need. It is the definite end of an era. They've got happy family behind them. They've got the, the, uh, uh, happy merchant over here to 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 show them their wishes can be fulfilled, and, uh, and that's what this nine of cups is also wish fulfillment. And with this uh, wheel of fortune moving in the right direction, I think they are on a solid footing. And it does look like when you see them in public. So good job. So we'll never know. It was just a fun exercise to see uh, what comes out. And uh, let me know what you think. If you think this was on point, or if I missed it. All together, were the cards right? Was I wrong? Was I right? And the cards were iffy? I mean, you tell me. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.